You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Welcome to today's video. I was just about to take a sip of my coffee, but uh, that is very empty, so I won't be doing that. I'll maybe have to make another one very soon. Um, these mugs, by the way, are from Ikea. I know I'll get questions about them because they're so gorgeous. They fit under my coffee machine, which is absolute key. But yeah, anyway, I haven't really done too much this morning. It's actually currently 12 o'clock. I'm working from home today, hence why I haven't done loads around the house and stuff. I've been able to change the bedding. It's Friday, so it's the day that Ash comes back. And Ash, so he works away during the week. And um, when he's not here, I let Molly sleep in the bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is not allowed. Um, but I just like it because we have cuddles and stuff. But uh, I, yeah, I have to change the bedding and stuff before he comes home because obviously, yeah, Molly's on like his side of the bed. So that's not ideal for him. So I've changed the bedding. New bedding from Ikea, along with my mug. Can you tell I had an Ikea trip recently? That's pretty much all I've done. I've literally done that, had a coffee. I obviously got George to up and got him changed and went to nursery this morning, but I've been working in the office since then. It's just so mad at work at the moment. There's so much going on. Um, so other than like the couple of little bits that I've been able to do before I started work, that's literally all I've been able to do so far today. But yeah, anyway, this week has just feels like it's just been like constant go, go, go. And it feels like there's just been so many things happening, like in terms of just like kinks in the road, like things that we hadn't anticipated happening. And it's just like not ideal, <laughs> I guess for us. But I mean, it just, it is what it is. I mean, couple of things like our childcare bill has gone up like significantly and we sort of knew it was coming but oh, it's so difficult to find out like what the actual amount you are going to be paying for childcare is if you are on different schemes if you've got like different um like allowances or eligibility for schemes and things like that and also oh, Joss, it's just so confusing guys I thought I had my head wrapped around it and I did a whole video on like my childcare costs and working out like how much childcare is going to cost with like different schemes and like like costing per hour and things but that was for where we were previously in our in our previous location and now we're in a different location and it like works differently there are lots of additional fees that we hadn't anticipated um when we originally applied for it and everything so there's just a lot to think about like you guys know george goes into childcare four days a week at between eight and five and for that like that is a lot of hours in four days plus he has like the consumables charge plus he has the like breakfast lunch dinner snacks charge um and like all of that kind of stuff and there's a few extra things in there as well i can't even remember what they are and because our childcare bill has gone like up a lot we're actually not going to be funded for like the entire year so we're on the tax-free childcare like scheme, whatever it's called. Um, and that basically means up to 10,000 pounds a year, the government will contribute 20% of your childcare bill. So if your childcare bill is 9,999 pounds a year, then um, you pay 80% of that and the government pay 20%. And that scheme, again, I mentioned all of this in my previous like childcare 
video that I did that I will link down below because that is a really, really informative video. I'm actually going to re-watch that video because I need to relearn this stuff because it's so complex. But our childcare bill has gone up so much that we way exceed the £10,000 limit. So I think that means, and I need to look into this, and I don't know why they make it so difficult to find out this information, but I think this means that we are going to be funded for a certain amount of time and the like system will pay 20% towards our childcare bill for a certain amount of time until we get to the £10,000 limit and then we're going to have to pay all of it on our own. And that is almost impossible with our current like situation um we've got a mortgage we've got bills we've got like various other things we've obviously got the wedding to pay for we honeymoon like we want to move house and we've got like a whole budget for moving house and that kind of stuff but also i only work four days a week so just uh, like it juggling all of that is so stressful and I get it there are worse things going on in the world like it is an absolute first world problem like there is absolutely no comparison to what is going on in the world right now I am under no illusions of that but it does stress me out a little bit to know like how are we going to afford this and like how are we going to move forward like do I look at potentially lowering the amount of days that I work so that I lower my childcare bill or do I look at increasing the days that I work so that I can afford to pay my childcare bill? But then if I work more, he goes into nursery more and the bill goes up. It's just, I'm going to have to sit down and I'm going to do like all of the math on it. And then, yeah, basically I'm going to have to redo what I did in that video, but an updated version. So the video that I've been talking about, the childcare costs video, again, like I said, I will link that down below because it is really, really helpful. I'm gonna have to do that again and recalculate everything because so much has changed. Um, oh. Anyway, that is my childcare rant over. It will obviously be fine. We'll figure out a way for it to work. It's just like, why? Why is it so complex? Why is there not just like some calculator that you can put in, da da da, and then it's just, I mean, that thing might even exist and I just don't know about it. Let me know if it does but I just uh, find it so difficult and I just don't understand. I just don't understand why everything has to be so complex. Anyone that wants to work, like any parent that wants to work and has a child below the age of like four or five when they go to school has to do this. Like, I just think surely there's a better way. Surely there's a simpler like option out there, but they're just, there just isn't apparently so anyway yeah i'm gonna have to suck that up and do that but anyway i think i'm going to stop moaning for five seconds now because i just i just needed that little rant because i just find it so difficult and anyone that's going to understand it's going to be you guys because you are probably all in like similar situations or have thought of this situation like whether you're thinking about going back to work after maternity leave or being like i'm not going back to work Childcare is so expensive like no way um or whatever like whatever the situation is like I feel like I can relate to you guys on that level and you can relate to me on that level because it's just something that I don't understand as well as I want to and I've really really tried to understand it and figure out all of the mathematics and everything and I just think I'm actually just gonna have to get like a flipping mad spreadsheet out and do some maths on it and just figure out what the hell what the hell I'm gonna do anyway enough of that moaning I'm gonna go and take my cup downstairs and walk molly because i feel like i've been neglecting her this morning because i've been busy come on girl i can see you what are you doing molly come on good girl <laughs> right we're gonna take her out for a walk and i'll see you later Yeah, I've really, really misjudged how muddy it was because I'm wearing cream boots and they are very muddy now. I mean, cream boots is a bad idea in any day, but they just looked nice, but now they're all muddy. <laughs> Come on, girl. <sighs> Tell you what, though, it is so much easier to walk Molly when I don't have George with me. We used to, um, well, I used to take him out on the 
like baby carrier thing um, on my front and then on my back as well like I can still do that and um, you're able to do that up until a certain point I think probably like two or three or something I think they say but George is so wiggly <laughs> like he really doesn't he fidgets so much he really doesn't like it anymore um, so yeah I don't really do it plus he's heavy like he's really heavy um, so yeah I'm probably not strong enough maybe it's something for Ash to do but I uh, much prefer just taking Molly out um, on our own and then I can like focus on her and yeah don't have a wiggling toddler on my back or something so yeah while George is having his breakfast I am just gonna finish my coffee and then we are gonna head out it's literally like 10 minutes till nursery starts but um if you're a couple of minutes late it doesn't really matter it's not the end of the world the sun is just all over the place this morning I can't find a place where you're, you're like in the right lighting um but you're actually on the washing basket as we speak George is trying to climb on to the table to get you <laughs> so that's great George George, do you want to sit down? Have some breakfast and water? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want Not happening. Well, I have you. I thought I'd actually update you a little bit more quickly about the childcare cost stuff. So I have spoken to um, some like advisor people at the tax free childcare center or whatever they're called it's just all on the government website um and they explained to me like how the process works and like why our childcare would have been so much more this month and like what the funding issue is and all that kind of stuff basically every three months you get up to 500 pounds top up from the government um but you only get like 20 percent of your bill so for example if your bill is 1000 pounds a month which ours is more than that but say it's 1000 pounds a month you'll get 200 pounds from the government each month until the 500 pounds runs out so the first two months you'll get the 200 pounds but the third month you've only got 100 pounds left in the kitty for them to top up so you will only get 100 pounds off obviously like i said our bill is more than a thousand pounds ours is like 1230 something um which is so much more than when we first started ch playing childcare like if you saw my previous childcare video which i mentioned already you'll know that my childcare bill was so much less than that when we originally started and that's because we were in a different location like we were up like more north than we are here and we were also using a childminder in that circumstance so we're now in a nursery it's now down south it's much more expensive like the fees themselves have gone up like there's just so many contributing factors but basically in that three month period where they give you the 500 pounds which equates to up to £2,000 a year which is obviously amazing that they can even help you contribute towards that but if they couldn't I genuinely could not afford to work and I I'm not being funny like I have a decent wage I'm not on a bad salary but it just makes you think about like what if you are a single parent what if you are not on a really decent wage like even a semi-decent wage it's quite difficult I think to like justify spending so much like it's my big my biggest expense more than my mortgage more than like anything else any of my bills my car like anything genuinely i had no idea until probably george was about six months old when i started looking into it um how bad it is like how expensive it is and everything so yeah it is a massive massive expense um and i'm still kind of deciding what to do like in the future and stuff i feel like at the moment we're just gonna have to deal with it like there's nothing that i can change i can't really change my work hours i can't really like quit my job or like not work or anything like I have to have this job at the moment for the income and obviously if we want to buy a house and get a mortgage we have to prove that we have money coming in etc so it kind of is just what it is like I'll have to deal with it for now but in the longer term and especially if we wanted to have another baby something I'm gonna massively have to consider is how do we afford this and what is the best course of action because if I'm just working so that I can pay childcare it doesn't make any sense to me but Anyway, I've just seen the time and it's like five minutes to eight. So me and George are going to have to go. I've got to rush, scrape the windscreen on the car and get to nursery. Uh, George is all dressed and everything and he's finished his breakfast. So I am going to go, but I think I'm going to leave the vlog here and then pick you guys up for another vlog at some point really soon. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby